just like El Paso, Pittsburgh, Charlottesville, Buffalo happened. 13 people, ages 20 to 86, were shot. 10 were killed. This monstrous act was committed by someone who believes that white people are under siege, that immigrants and black people aim to replace white Americans in this country. Panic and terror. It is an old paranoia. I'm Dr. Eddie Esclaude, Jr., a professor of African American studies at Princeton University. I've come to believe that we don't really know who we are as Americans. Our myths and legends have blinded us to the reality close to the ground, that we are truly a diverse nation, not a white one. The historical evasion of that fact in policy and in deed has corrupted the soul of this nation. Our demand for innocence and safety has kept us stuck in a kind of national adolescence. We refuse to grow up, and we continue to leave bodies in the wake. The moral crisis we face today has everything to do with who we take ourselves to be as a nation and who we will become on the other side of this terrible storm. The answers to these questions, I believe, require that we grapple with the history that has brought us to now. Moments when we, as Americans, had a chance to be otherwise, to finally settle this issue of race and democracy once and for all. And instead, too many Americans turned their backs on that hope. James Baldwin once wrote, The great force of history comes from the fact that we carry it within us, that history is literally present in all that we do. American history haunts there is something at once distinct and familiar about our current days. The soil of this nation is soaked with the blood of those who have died because of it. The violent storming of the Capitol, the calls to stop the steal and the efforts to pass legislation that narrows who can vote, the demands for a pristine history shorn of our national sins, the brutal murder of innocence in a grocery store, all seem so familiar to me. The horror of Buffalo happened against the backdrop of a cold civil war turned hot. Our history haunts. Today, Americans stand at a crossroads, and in so many ways we are still fighting old battles, still trapped in categories and assumptions that arrest our imaginations. We have to decide. Will we finally become a genuinely multiracial democracy? History is Us is a six-part audio documentary that turns our attention to the past that haunts us still. It is my prayer and desperate hope that these episodes will help guide us through the storms and help us all imagine a new America. <laughs>